Hi, today we are doing um, problem number one for Engineering Calc, Mac 2311E, exam one from spring 2011. So number one asks us to find the value of sine two theta if theta is an angle in quadrant two and the cosecant of theta is equal to square root of five divided by two. Okay, and we also know that it's in quadrant two, so we have quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So we know that our theta is in quadrant two, so it's going to be looking something like this. And so um, if cosecant of theta is equal to the square root of five over two, we know cosecant um, is the same thing as... Uh, 1 over sine theta, so 1 over sine theta is equal to the square root of 5 over 2, and so that's the same thing as saying that sine theta is equal to 2 divided by square root of 5. Okay, so using this information in our triangle here, and the fact that, um, um, and using SOHCAHTOA, uh, we can show that, we know that, um, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so our opposite length is 2, and our hypotenuse length is square root of 5. And then um, we can also solve for uh, this side right here, um, and we get that its length is equal to 1. And we also know that it's negative 1, because we're moving left on the x-axis, we're going into the negative um, units, because we're in the second quadrant. Okay, so now we want to find sine 2 theta using all this information that they've given us. So we can use our double angle formula, and we're using that we know that sine of 2 theta is equal to uh, 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay, and so we can figure out what sine theta and cosine theta are using our triangle. And we already know that sine theta is equal to that, so we have... 2 times 2 over square root of 5. Now we just need to figure out cosine theta using our triangle. So we know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent is negative 1 over our, our hypotenuse, which is the square root of 5. And so now we just need to multiply this all through, which is going to give us a negative 4 over... Five, and so our answer is E. And that is it for problem number one.